Hello everyone, this is me. I think I'm getting sick. Yeah. Or maybe not. <laughs> yep, anyways, um, this is uh, Gundam updates. Yep, back to Gundams. Anyways, um, here's my Zulaidia. I've started painting him. Actually, I gave him a flat, you know, acrylic paint, you know, just a black coat all over. And I'm starting to add metallic red. Again, I'm using this um, acrylic paint from Deco Art, and this is festive red. Um, I I'm actually uh, doing a little bit of uh, dry brushing, and I'll probably zoom in. And here's a zoomed in look. I'm dry brush metallic red, and I kind of like it. Uh, although this side is uneven, it's sort of hinting me to do something on that. Maybe a decal or I'll paint some kind of fireball, dragon, or whatnot. We'll see. Um, as you notice that I haven't painted the other side yet. <laughs> on the feet. So a little bit of a um, comparison. All black. A little bit of red. I'll be painting the dressers in the back. Um, I'm thinking of another color here. Maybe I'll use purple for the this inside part here. And um, more thrusters. I'll paint this uh, back red. I am seeing a little bit of um, red here because I can't really paint the whole thing black because of the joints. I'm thinking of dry brushing this piece red as well. It's going to be purple here and yeah as well as the beam saber I'm gonna dry brush this with a uh, purple I really like the design of these feet especially the thrusters just that I don't like the head <laughs> only if I can swap that out with something else and uh, the gun I think I'm just you know painting that with gun metal and adding some colors well that's about it for this guy and uh, I guess I just want to draw the Gapushin Gundam I'm gonna give it a try and actually it's going to be a part of my game plan of how I'm gonna customize him so first off we have the head right there I don't know if you can see that actually I should draw it a little bit lower so head goes like that make it a bit wider like that and eyes are actually the side face go slightly like that going all the way down there's gonna be it seems to me like a jet engine turbines on the side I think I should make that wider Or keep making mistakes. Anyways, oh, <laughs> it's harder than I, I actually think it is. Eh, it's been a while since I've drawn something. Yeah, it's not even symmetrical. <laughs> Anyways, at least I'm getting somewhere, I hope. Yeah, that's good enough. And make that wider. This one too. Let's just say I'm not drawing to scale. Then again, this is a super deform. Alright, okay. Ah, oh, my hands are getting numb. <laughs> There's this lump on this side. Really hard to draw. Yep. Just wondering, anybody of you tried drawing your kids? That should be quite fun. 
So that's the partially the head. Really crappy. <laughs> Anyways, keep going. Hmm. I should just make this bigger. And um, can I should make the zigzag on the side? Yeah. <laughs> So I, I just added those, uh, the head, or the thing I want to add in front of the face, like the wolf and the dragon head for the Bakimaru and the Choshogan Toga. And I'll be creating like a bird-like, kind of like a phoenix kind of thing. But it's going to be black and purple. That's the color scheme I'm going for. Or black and blue, because it's already a blue frame. Yeah, so I'll be sculpting that somehow. Maybe not with clay, but um, with plastic uh, or something else because I don't have plow plates and I need to be a little bit more resourceful. <laughs> so I'll think of something. But that's the idea. I'll be making a bird head somehow. <laughs> Put it here in front. And for the feet, um, let's see. What to do with the feet? I was thinking of... Um, having talents because um, I can detach this similar to the other uh, the older kits and put it in the arm so I can have this uh, with talents um let's see how are we gonna have talents we have this three claws or talents and um, think of something on the bottom or maybe just stick with two um, I don't know what do you guys think while he's doing that transformation, putting here on the arm, I'll be removing this. Because now you have uh, the head. With the, so you're going to have this head here. And you're going to have talons coming out, right? So there's actually no point of having an extra pair of legs at the bottom. So I'll be removing that. And I'm thinking of adding some wings. Because you have uh, this peg holes there so you're gonna have some kind of um wings here in the back and that's the eyes just visualize with me <laughs> yep and um what else actually you know this this sword is actually a good tail so while it, he is in that mode I guess that kind of work for a tail <laughs> We'll see. Um, I can think of something else. Yeah, it, it, it's a straight peg, so I cannot lift this thing up. Or maybe I can put it somewhere here? Maybe? We'll see. But yeah, that's my plan. I'm thinking of, you know, customizing Gakushin Gundam to have um, his beast mode. Yeah, because it's a really cool kit. You know, having the blue frame, just that, just then incorporated the transforming, which is kind of a bummer for me. Anyways, it's a challenge, which is good for me. I like challenges, and we'll see how that goes. Again, this is Meats. Thank you for watching.